This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I'm sure some of you have seen this out there, and I'm covering it for a different reason, but all these reports out there about Johnny Depp and how sick he looks and how he's losing weight and his obsessive fan base is so concerned about his well-being. Well, I'm sure Johnny's just not getting the annual blood that he's used to getting and maybe hasn't been, you know, involved in too many rituals lately, so he's starving and dying of starvation. But nonetheless, people are reporting on this, and I wanted to point out something I saw while this guy was touring. Now, I've covered him before and his connection to Marilyn Manson. They're both in the Satan video. They're both like blood brothers. They have matching tattoos. You know, you've heard Manson talk about some of the things that have gone on in some of the hotel rooms that they've stayed at in Los Angeles. Just some of the sick, twisted stuff that these freaks do. Obviously, you know his connection to Hunter Thompson, who, you know, I don't even need to say anything about him and what he's involved in. If you're not aware, look into it. My video will probably get taken down if I even mention some of the things he was involved in. Also, his connection to the West Memphis Three and how pretty much Depp and Eddie Vedder were responsible for getting these guys out of prison. And, of course, there's so many people out there, even people who claim to be truthers, who actually believe the documentaries produced by HBO, which is comical. Nonetheless, look at what Johnny Depp was wearing during his concert performance. If you look on his wrist, you'll see the what is actually known as the heart-shaped spiral. And for those of us who have, you know, obviously studied this and going through Pizzagate and all that stuff, that is the combination of little boy and little girl you know what and you can see that on the fbi reported list and he's wearing that right on his wrist now marilyn manson obviously has this tattoo as well on his wrist but i thought it was interesting that he actually was wearing this out in the open and you see how people don't notice the stuff they don't notice him wearing a shirt where the tattoo is actually matching in the same spot as manson now this is a symbol you'll see Connected to Manson, and he had the, I believe the album was called Eat Me, Drink Me, or something like that. But it's also connected to the movie Mad Love, where you can see this symbol over the all-seeing eye, right? You see the how they deliberately put it on the cover over the eye. This is an old movie, which starred Peter Lore, who played a mad scientist who can create life itself, but cannot create love without the woman he so desires. It's the plot of the film. Okay, this guy goes on to play in another movie, which is called M, which Marilyn Manson has, you know, the imagery and artwork in his art gallery, which is called the Celebration Corporation emblem section of the uh, Nach Barrett or something like that for Manson's first evocations on the film M. And you can see the film and the plot of the film is about child killer Peter Lorre who lures young victims and kills these children. And this is uh, the, you know, the same guy who is in this film and uses, you know, they have this symbol on the cover. But this symbol, I mean, look look how obvious this stuff is, you know? And people just talking about, oh, look, Johnny looks like he hasn't eaten in a while. Is Johnny okay? And people refuse to look at signs and symbols and the connections between these people. And how he's wearing this on his shirt, right in the same spot that Manson has his tattoo. And you could see, you know, some of the tours that he was on and how he used this logo. The tour was called Rape of the World Tour. And you could see it in the backdrop behind him on the wall. You could see it on the drum set. I mean, these people are not hiding any of this stuff. It's amazing to me how people think that this stuff's not important. I mean, this is right out in the open. This is what these people are. This is what they do. And they gain power through the worship that people give to them, you know, through this idol worship. This enhances their craft. It enhances their spell over people. And obviously we know that children are involved in all of this stuff. So Johnny Depp not hiding it. I mean, the guy's never really hidden anything. You know, he's out there performing in a band called Hollywood Vampires. I mean, if you need a good laugh, listen to one of their songs. you got pretty much three people from Tales from the Crypt playing some old, awful music, acting like they're 30 years old parading around the country you know alice cooper claiming to be a born again christian people buy into that (sighs) i mean give me a break you got the guy from aerosmith and you got depp and i've covered before you know depp with his masonic you know covers of magazine doing the hidden hand doing the 666 doing the all-seeing eye 
We can't make this stuff up. I mean, these people admit to being witches. They admit to being occultists, but people think it's a big joke. They think it's like the movie The Craft or something. They think it's just a fairy tale, even though they've been indoctrinated with it since they were born. All these movies, these Disney cartoons constantly telling you about magic and the supernatural and all this crap that they push and sorcery and invocations and all that stuff. And then people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. I can't wait to go see Harry Potter. Oh, great. I can't wait to see the new Disney movie. You know, Cinderella, again, for the hundredth time, they've remade it, or Beauty and the Beast, all of which revolve around, you know, magic rose, magic slipper, magic this, magic that. Oh, but magic, it's not real. That's why we go to the movies. Oh, right, because you're being desensitized from it. You know, and people just don't seem to care. These symbols you can find all over the place. These people flashing these symbols all the time. You know, Manson uses the lightning bolt, right? Uses the lightning bolt, which represents Lucifer's fall. He uses the... You know, this this little boy, little girl heart, you know, which they actually sell merchandise of it. That's how sick these people are. It's called the heart-shaped spiral. I've covered the spiral before, just the basic spiral and how important it is to witchcraft and sorcery. And that's why, you know, when you see the you're getting sleepy, the hypnotism thing, right? When they just show it over and over and over in music videos and stuff and people just are like, oh, cool, the hypnotism thing. Why do you think it's a spiral in there? Because it's a spell. Hypnosis and all this stuff is witchcraft. That's what it is. You know, and they're constantly doing this. We're constantly under spiritual attack. We're constantly, you know, ignoring the signs and all this stuff. And people are just like in la-la land over this stuff. I mean, the signs and the symbols are really the way that these people communicate with one another. So why would you not want to learn these things and see how the enemy communicates with each other? Why would you not want to learn how they communicate? You know, it's like they're going to come out and they're going to go on their Instagram, hey, I did this tonight with some kids, or hey, you know, just ate a human heart. I mean, they're not going to post that on their Instagram. But we can see what they're talking about through these signs and these symbols, through who they align themselves with, right? Coincidence that all these people just happen to hang out with each other, Manson and Depp, and all these guys in the dark realm of Hollywood, you know, even Jim Carrey. I mean, it's amazing. And people are just like, oh, you know, and then they're all married to other people who are famous and rich or politicians and all these bloodlines. I mean, th- you know, people think that, you know, the bloodlines and all that stuff died a long time ago. I mean, they, of course, they're obviously still going on. They changed their last names. They continue to interbreed. They continue to have power over us, at least here on Earth. And I mean, by power, I mean to continue to make us slaves to money and slaves to them and slaves to this order and this system, you know? And if people just start seeing this stuff and looking for it, it's easy to wake up from it, looking at the symbols that they wear on their clothing, from this heart that I'm showing you here, to pyramids, to things that they do on magazine covers, you know? It's as easy as that. It's as easy as seeing, wow, on their Instagram, they're constantly posting pictures of Masonic tiles or their homes are filled with it from Taylor Swift to the Kardashians to all of these people, to the White House itself, right? To every Masonic lodge in the country. I mean, all of this stuff is connected and all of these people are connected to one another and all these people are buddy-buddy and the big secret is, shh, we know what the big secret is, but guess what? It's not a secret anymore. But people would start acting and and realizing that these signs and symbols matter. That's a way that you can expose and reveal stuff by saying, you know, calling them out on, okay, what does this mean? You know, people see people get tattoos and they're just like, oh, a tattoo. And you're just like, what is that thing on you? It's just a big glob of something, right? Or flames or something embarrassing on somebody's arm. And you're like, what is it? Oh, you know. Um, well, it means this to me about my father or so-and-so. People don't even know what they're getting marked on themselves. But half of these symbols that people are getting marked with are occultic symbols. You know, they're tribal occultic symbols. There's almost like they're branding themselves to be part of their tribe. They don't even realize it. They're like, yeah, I got a star on my arm. Oh, great. So you got a pentagram on your arm, but you're a Christian, right? And then you see, you know, Manson with a heart. What do you think he's got this on his wrist for? Because he loves People, he has, you know, I've already exposed the heart symbol, right? The heart symbol has nothing to do with a heart inside the human body or like a heart, okay? It's just another symbol that they created. They tell you it means this when it means something else. Well, you think it's in his wrist like he's just going, oh, I just, I got a heart spiral on my wrist because I love people. I love the world. I mean, huh? There's obviously hidden meanings to all this stuff, and they're constantly revealing it. So keep your eyes open to stuff like this. I just wanted to do a video on it, and then I just felt like ranting for a little bit since I haven't done that many videos lately. But 
you know, when I see Johnny Depp, you know, just some stupid article about Johnny Depp, like, oh, he's not eating. And, you know, I laugh at him just like, who gives a crap? Wow, he's he looks thin. I mean, what is he preparing for another one of his crap movies? And then, you know, you, you see the first picture in the article and he's wearing a shirt where he's got that that symbol, the heart-shaped spiral on his wrist. And we know what the symbol means. And Manson's got it. And people just overlook that stuff, and then they listen to all the, the BS crap in the middle. So just keep your eyes open for things like this all the time when you're looking at stuff because everything is right in front of our faces. So I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.